What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the OnePlus 8 Pro and today we're back with a case from a company I believe is called Damity. I think that's the name of it. It's a third party case company. This one's going to run you $8.99. Quite a few different color options. It looks like from the picture it's kind of like a rugged style case but you just never know so we'll get it. It's one of those you just never know until you actually spend your money on it. That's kind of what I'm for to see if it's a hit so you don't have to waste that hard earned cash even if it's 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying guys? It is what it is hopefully it's a hit let's go and check it out presentation really nothing to it let's get it right to the unboxing can't say anything about the presentation who cares if it's actually giving you a nice case you just never know what you're going to get with these third party companies under 10 bucks can't beat the price point so let's get right to it so you can see what you're going to get is actually a lot thinner than i expected it's a one hard shell plastic pretty thin material you can see you do got the hook right here it's going to give you a little bit hopefully yeah you can actually give you that um look at that nice viewing so not look at that clip right there is going to give you it tucks away one thing i would say about this it's definitely going to be a hump so i'm not a big fan of that it give you that wobble effect you see what i'm saying guys that wobble wobble so i'm not a huge fan of that i like when these tuck away and it's completely hidden where this one's actually gonna it's a i like it a lot i appreciate what they're doing but the fact that it sticks out i think that's gonna make for a little wobbly case now you can check so that kickstand just a little bit protrudes more than i think it should now this is a thinner case than i was expecting it actually might yeah this part right here it looks like it's a kind of a hybrid case interior it's got this hard shell plastic and then you can see the bumper area is actually going to give you a rubber plastic soft rubber finish so that's it is what it is it's kind of a unique design and you can see just the kind of there's different different design pattern on the back grip wise it actually feels pretty grippy it doesn't feel great in the hands unfortunately just kind of like these uh, little these little ridges are kind of sharp so it doesn't feel the best in the hands so overall just like the average when you're picking up the phone it doesn't have a nice feel to it which i prefer on an actual phone regardless of it's 10 bucks or 50 bucks you know what i'm saying guys but it is what it is it's a one one part case it's got a unique design to it probably not gonna be for everybody but it does have a nice kickstand so let's get right to it and pop it open like this take out that i think i was rocking i can't remember which one this one is but it's actually a decent case check out the videos i think that i posted this one last time i just can't remember the name of the company it's definitely a, a nice designed case i don't have a one thing I'm missing, guys, I cannot wipe it down, wipe it down. So this is very disappointing. I cleaned up my desk here, and I don't have a microfiber cloth to wipe it down, wipe it down. That is a definite fail for me, so I apologize for that. But let's check it out. That black still looking gorgeous. Looks beautiful. Let's pop it into place like this. Snaps right into place. Beautiful. Check that out. Very nice looking case. Like I said, it's unique, nice design. You can see you got the little rubber. It's like a silicone rubber right here on the interior and then around the ridges itself. That's going to give you that extra shock absorption. So very nicely there. But let's check this out. Wobble, wobble. Do not like that wobble. To me, I like it flush. It's Look at that. To me, that is definitely a no-go. I do like the kickstand. The kickstand pops like this. Perfect kickstand. It's actually kind of a, a nicely designed kickstand. Very sturdy. You can put in different angles. But tucks away and, and it's still right there so kind of even when you're holding the phone it's actually you just got a pop and feel kind of hold feels of just a little bit uh tough to the to the feel it doesn't feel as natural as some of the cases camera protection it's decent enough it's you can see it's ridges around the edges but i think you're actually gonna get a little more camera protection with this being raised up or this probably won't lay flat because this is actually gave you that extra raised edges so I wouldn't worry too much about the camera protection because of that big hump on the back. Let's check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip zip. Lip protection, yeah, decent enough. You got lip protection on the top, bottom. It's kind of curved in right there around the edges. But you can see right there. Let's check this out. Let's check this out real quick. Phone on, lip protection. Yeah, decent amount of lip protection. So not bad at all. I would say this is pretty decent lippage volume up and down actually clicky and responsive so the buttons feel good speaker right there cutout looks precise cutout right there looks decent power button like it again 
blur slider, easy access. You can see that complete cutter right there. Now, one thing I will have to mention, they did this instead of actually giving a layer right there protection around the lure slider. You can see it's completely cut out. So keep that in mind. That pair, that part is exposed. So I would definitely rock a screen protector with this completely exposed right there. So overall, is this a hit or miss? I gotta say, to me, it's just not a hit. It's just not for me. I just did think that they're trying to do too much while not really doing a lot. This to me is a big deal breaker with the hump on the back and i just think that it doesn't feel very premium natural to the touch it just doesn't feel great i think that there's better options if you're going to spend 10 you know 8.99 which is the price which is cheap spend 10 or 12 bucks and get a better case i think you probably get a speaking case for 10 to 12 bucks that's going to give you or i think there's a couple other cranky a couple other companies that are going to give you some decent protection and just a better overall design so i'm gonna say this is a miss let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section is it a hit is it a miss we gonna miss hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys next time